So today's video, I was hoping to show you how I do my solar charging. I have a 110 watt flexible solar panel. I use that when I'm camped out and I'm there for a while and the batteries start to go down a bit. The, the B2B usually keeps the batteries pretty, pretty topped up, so I don't usually pull the solar out very often. When I do, I'll show you what I do. So the solar charge controller is underneath the kitchen in this utility cabinet area. I have to slide that out far enough to turn the solar charge controller on. There's a breaker between that and the power and the, and the controller. It's a Victron, it's a 30 amp uh, charger. And I did this because I have a couple of home panels that are a couple hundred watts a piece that I use when the power's out. I use the solar and the, and the batteries in, of the van to run the fridges at home. The other end of the, of the controller, I have, a, I have another fuse, and then I have a coil of, this is about 20 feet of number 10 gauge wire. Just connect that, and then on one end I have solar connectors, and on the tip of that you can see there used to be little tongs on there, little little prongs, and I've, I've sanded sanded those down so that this just slips right in and comes apart easily. Um, the tools that are, are used for separating those don't really work well on these particular connectors. So I'll connect this to that end. Now I just need to get the solar panel, which I, because of its thinness and its lightness, mm -hmm. I am able to store it beneath the bed. So underneath the bed is where that lives and I've got clips that hold it in place so it doesn't slip. And the black tape is because I've left these with the little tongs out and closed the back door and smashed an LED light. So I've marked with these black tape where not to put the, where not to put the clip. I have this channel that keeps the, the cords from rubbing against the, the hinges when I open and open and close this. So pull the panel out. And this is a SunPower 110 watt flex panel. There you go. There's the specs on it. And these are this these have been great. I uh, ended up ordering ordering one and UPS failed to deliver that package and they could not provide any kind of information as to where the package was. So I contacted, uh, I think it was Boss Watt, something like that, that was selling the panels. I bought it from them and they said, well, if it shows up, you can, you can, you can keep it. We'll send you another one. Um, turns out, UPS finally found my package. I got two solar panels, but I no longer carry two. I used to carry them both piled up on top of each other on the on the back of the, the bed platform. But I, I found that I don't really need that much charging with the B2B. So now I just carry one, which makes life much simpler. Let me flip the breaker. And then we will take this panel into the sun. And they're rated 110 watts. I rarely get that kind of power. Just pop the wire loose there. Set that up while I'm dragging around the phone. Okay. Plug that together. Into the sun. Flip the breaker again. And let's see what we got. kicking on. Oh, there we go. Looks like we're hitting, well, it takes it a little while to stabilize. I'm going to first fire, fire it up. 
it's really bouncing around. Well, let's see what else we got going here. I don't see anything that would be causing that to be doing that. Or a shade. Uh, the angle's not perfect, but it's decent. So where are we now? Okay, looks like we stabilized at 81 watts. Excellent. That's the solar system.